the treatment landscape in medullary thyroid cancer with the addition of two new target therapies? Um, so, I mean, now that we have two drugs, uh, cabazapinib and vindinib, both have been proved. They both work through similar, at least we think through similar mechanisms. Both um, tyrosine kinase inhibitors of uh, of MEC, which or sorry of um, of RET, which we think is extremely important pathway for medullary thyroid cancer. We know that in men's to uh, syndrome, that RET mutations are, are the driving force, and um, they have high risk of having medullary thyroid cancer. Even in sporadic um, metroid thyroid cancers, almost 50% of tumors will have a RET mutation. These drugs both not only hit RET, but hit other targets that also are thought to be important. Um, VEGFR, um, in Vendetinib, it hits EGFR, in Campozantinib, uh, it hits MET. So all these are things that we both are hitting multiple different targets. One that's considered very important, other ones that may consider important. With both cambazantinib and vindinib, both have shown in randomized phase three studies against placebo that they, they can increase progression free survival. The problem that exists is that metro thyroid cancer is a very slow growing disease in general, and a lot of other drugs have also shown activity in terms of showing uh, responses. So we don't know right now whether either of those drugs actually lead to a true benefit in patients in terms of either improvement in overall survival. And while there has been some suggestion whether in most patients whether it improves quality of life, if patients actually already have pain, um, other symptoms of the disease, these drugs definitely do have some, um, some benefit there. But in a patient who's totally asymptomatic when watching the disease grow, whether this is really leading to a better outcome, we, we just don't know. And both drugs have shown to have really quite significant toxicity, um, a lot more, I think, than what was, was originally thought. So they're both very good in terms of being active drugs, but what are, what's the true benefit, and which drug should we use first, and which drug we should use second, we don't really know.